what's up guys so if you are using ngrok to share your local development server with someone or even use it to test the webhook i've got something better and it's built right into vs code and the cool thing about it is that you don't even need to install anything extra and it might just replace ngrok for you so let's dive right into it all right before i show you the better alternative that i've found i just want to spot out some little problems and issues that i have faced personally using ngrok and don't get me wrong ngrok is a great service for exposing your local host to the internet and me personally i've used it for some of my videos and also use it for some projects as well so maybe you are testing the web work showing a client your progress that you are working on or even working with a team remotely ngrok is a great service but there are some little issues that i have found and one of the issues is that it's really hard to set up so currently now i can't even set it up because mine just stopped working and and setting it up is even harder than it used to be so that's just a major turn off for me and another issue is that it has a very limited free tier so there are some things you can't do with it and the last one is that it gets clunky sometimes so personally there are sometimes i use it and it just starts misbehaving sometimes i will have to reroute um, change the port and it's just a nightmare and at the end of the day we just want something that works out of the box and vs code has this amazing inbuilt feature that has been here for a long time but i haven't really used it and basically this is the feature right here these ports and it lets you forward ports from one remote environment to the web and how it works is just you just have to click on these ports right here so you can do command j or ctrl j and you can just navigate to this port and select forward a port and you just have to add your port number so i'm currently using localhost 3000 so i'll just say 3000 and i'll just hit enter so you see that it starts starting port forwarding system so you just give it some time and it's been added right here so once you enter the port you'll be given this url link so i can just quickly copy it or open it in my browser or even preview it direct in vs code so whatever one you want to use you can it's open for you so but i'll just copy the link and go to my browser and just paste it right here and if it's your first time copying it um i think you have to go through some github authorization um for you to be able to sync your account with it but it's very very easy to set up so I'll hit enter and this is not going to work and i will um, show you why in a minute all right you see that it's saying the page is it working and the way this works is that whenever you have a port up and running you also need to go to your terminal and make sure that your server is also up and running as well so i have a post a port right here local is 3000 so i can open my port and i will just refresh this all right see that my local host is running now if i check back to that url you see this is running as well so now i can just copy this link right here and share it with anybody maybe a member of my team or a client that are working with but right now if we go back and go to the ports tab you will notice that the visibility is private so if someone else's view this now it's not going to work so for it to work you just have to right click on it and just change the port visibility to public then um, it's going to prompt you and you should just read through this and proceed so you should only proceed if the service is secure and non-sensitive so say continue and now you can see that it's now public so cool if you go back you can now share this url with anyone you want to 
And always keep in mind your server must be running because if your server stops, this will stop running as well. And the cool thing I really like about it is literally why I'm going to be using it 99% of the time is the um, webhooks endpoint. So if I go to Clark, all right, so I'm currently on my Clark dashboard and for webhooks to work with Clark, you must have um, a secure endpoint. So you can't use your normal HTTP endpoint. As you can see, I already have this um, up and running. So it's just the same um, endpoint of this. So I can just come right here and click on it. And I can choose to edit it if I want to. So you can see that you already have this right out of the box because the way I normally do it or the way other people normally do it is that they will have to go to a service like ngrog just to generate this public endpoint. And you can see how now easy it is that it now saves you one single purpose. And, and most of the times you are just using it for development purpose because when you are production, this way obviously change to the name of your website once it's hosted. So I, so I think personally that it's just a better alternative than using ngrok. And like I said, ngrok is a great service, but for the basic things that I need currently, this works very well. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. If you're already using VS Code, especially in a remote setup, this alternative will definitely replace ngrok in a lot of situation. And it's very, very fast and stable as well. So if you found the video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and share the video as well. And let me know in the comments which other use case you would use this alternative for. See you next time.